Good morning, my name is Clint and today we will be asking the question, can you create a compelling character when you start from a blank slate? Many RPGs, particularly those created by the likes of Bethesda, choose to make your player character a blank slate with little to no pre-existing backstory. The reason for this is that any backstory the developer may add to this character could contradict what the player wants their character to be. Whether it is a fantasy version of themselves or a specific character of their choosing, the blank slate starting point allows for the player to choose who they want to be. Does this make a compelling character? How on earth do you allow players to play as any character that they want? It seems like it would be impossible to do. The answer to this is to limit the scope of what a player can be by creating character archetypes that the player will likely want to play as in the world of the game. Luckily, we have thousands of years of storytelling to pull from here as to what character archetypes we resonate with the most. With these character archetypes in place, the game can limit its scope so that the blank slate character can become one of these set options, or even a mix of these options. Archetypes like the hero, scoundrel, villain, comedian, idiot, stoic person who doesn't speak much, etc. All of these options have to be viable throughout the entirety of the game to allow the player to feel like their choice in character is accommodated, so that the character you're creating isn't broken by having to make choices that don't make sense to them. Some choices and conversations early on that allow the player to see what's viable and what isn't. When designing a conversation that includes player choice, the developer has to choose what conversation options to include that allow the player to play as the character of their choice. To do this, perhaps it's important to make it clear to the player what options will be available to them. Some choices and conversations early on that will allow the player to see what is viable to them and what isn't. When designing a conversation that includes player choice, the developer has to choose what conversation options to include that allow the player to play as the character of their choice. For example, if you want to play the game as a stoic Clint Eastwood type, the game would have to include the option to say nothing, or at least very little, every time a conversation option is presented. A comedic line would have to be included each time to allow the scoundrel or comedian to be viable, for example. A line that's heroic or ambivalent, one that is mean or evil, would also have to be included to allow the other archetypes to exist. But playing as a character archetype doesn't necessarily make for a compelling character. It definitely defines who your character is, but for most stories, this is just the starting point. Because stories aren't just about plot points and lore, things that happen and things that have happened. It's about how characters change throughout the story. Character arcs tend to be vital to creating a compelling narrative. So how on earth do you allow for a character arc in a game where player agency is key to the experience? Pre-established video game characters can have character arcs very easily, as the more linear narrative can force them into change. But when a player is at the wheel, is a character arc even possible? Does attempting to add one, or force a character arc, take away from the player's agency and control over their character? In Fallout 4, I created my own character arc, almost out of necessity. I wanted it to make sense that my character would eventually become a raider so that I could finally play the Nuka World DLC that forces you to be a bad guy. So I created a self-directed character arc. A father on a downward spiral, from 1950s white picket fence dad, to jet addled psychopath over the course of the game. This improved my story for this particular playthrough of Fallout 4. But this was only achievable because I knew where the game would inevitably lead. I knew what options I had in game and what in-game story beats would help sell this story that I was crafting. Previous playthroughs of Fallout 4, my character just jumped between factions, making whatever choices felt right at the time. My character ended up being just a random assortment of jumbled decisions that had no major rhyme or reason to them. My blank slate character ended the game just as blank as when they started. Without knowledge of where the story is going, it can be hard for a player to figure out a character arc to aim for to self-direct their own narrative. Not knowing the path that the story takes removes the player's ability to self-direct their own character arc, so then it's up to the developers to lead them towards one. Perhaps the game could start with options to pick from that would allow the player to create their own arc. The stoic loner who learns the value of friendship. The hero who learns that the world isn't just in black and white the scoundrel who learns that money isn't the meaning of everything. To give a blank slate character a character arc, 
The developer needs to both allow the player to set their character, and then somehow challenge that character throughout the course of the game to encourage change. There's potential here, but it's not something I've yet seen in games that use these blank slate characters. There is barely any more depth ever added to them beyond what the player themselves imbues into them. But there is one major character related element that video games can do better than almost any other medium, that a Bethesda RPG can actually excel at. This is creating character through what I'll call procedural mundanity. Procedural not in the way it's used for procedurally created content, but as in procedure as in doing things that the character would do on a day-to-day -day basis. TV shows have become increasingly interested in exploring procedure to help the viewer understand their characters and to tell a story. Breaking Bad takes you through the procedure of disposing of a body, and more recently the TV show The Bear shows you what it's like to work in a fast-paced restaurant. To do this, the show uses montages of procedural elements. They can at times laboriously take you through the step by step of what it's like for a character to do their job. The quick cuts of food preparation in the beer helps you feel the intensity of working in a kitchen. But a video game can do this even better by just making the player do it. In a video game, the mundane activities of the character can be baked into the gameplay itself. The same sense of satisfaction you feel seeing Kami in the beer clean up his restaurant is the exact same sense of satisfaction achieved and just playing a few hours of Pressure Washer Simulator. While we don't know what existential dramas Pressure Washer Simulator's protagonist experiences after work, we do know how it feels to do their work. We have a sense of what it feels like to do their job, and therefore a closer understanding of what the world is like for that character. A blank slate character can become a character through the choices that the game offers us for what the character can do in game. Whether that is choosing the heroic path of rescuing NPCs who have gone missing, or focusing on the mundane joys of decorating a house. Your character is then a hero with aspirations of settling down, or maybe they have an aspiration to be a blacksmith, constantly searching for materials, crafting their wares and selling them for profit. Maybe your hero is into fashion and just hoards all sorts of clothing items every day. Bethesda style open worlds are all about allowing the player to form these mundane loops on their own to follow the procedures involved and create a sense of character from this. What in-game activities you choose to take on and what you choose to ignore will form your character. If Fallout 4 nailed anything, it was the procedural daily process of being a wasteland scavenger. Whether or not you kill innocents just for their fancy hat, well that's up to you. So even without a character arc, self-created characters that start from a blank slate can be compelling through a range of choices in-game, both in dialogue and how the player chooses to spend their time. In film, the longer the camera lingers on something, the more important that thing is to the story. The longer we spend doing a certain thing in-game, the more important that thing is to our character. Maybe our character is one that feels it's important to solve everyone's problems, no matter how big or small. Or maybe they just like chatting to everyone in town. Maybe they're a loner who spends most of their time finding materials and crafting. So long as these games give you the choice of what to do and what not to do, you can at the very least craft something somewhat compelling. Even if it's not a finely structured character arc, like we see in Breaking Bad. There is of course a lot more that can be done to transform a blank slate character into a more compelling one, both self-directed and in choices laid out by the developer. But the exciting thing here is it's still early days. Video games haven't had hundreds of years yet to figure out these things like film has, or even thousands of years that novels have had to understand and hone their storytelling structures. Video games are still figuring themselves out and that's kind of exciting. Will Starfield be able to further this and create a compelling character from a blank slate? Probably not, but it could be one of the many steps in the right direction. Let's just hope that the options in game allow for us to at the very least feel like we have created a character that is unique to us, and maybe in a second playthrough we can map out our very own compelling character arc in our adventures amongst the stars.